Hi, I'd like to show you some of the features in the RX Toolkit in Komodo 6. Definitely the main difference is that we now support evaluation with five different languages, and we use the actual language to evaluate whatever regex and text you've put in. So now if you're, for example, working in Perl or working in JavaScript, you don't have to wonder if the old regex, which used Python, was behaving slightly differently from how your code would behave. So just to give an example, I'll paste in a uh, pattern I have here. I'll paste in some text. And uh, just for example, I can mess around with the difference between greedy and non-greedy matching. If you notice down here, as I switch between non-greedy and greedy as it is now, the in greedy mode, the first group matches more. And just whipping through languages, I don't see any difference. So I've got a lot of consistency across there. If instead I want to match, rematch the second group, notice here that although this is greedy, it's only going to match the second part because this doesn't have any other occurrences. And again, I can go through languages and everything's pretty consistent. On the other hand, where it really pays to have language-specific regex engines, say you're working with some non-ASCII text. So I'll paste some Swedish in here. And let's say, for example, we're just matching words, long words that are at least, let's say, 10 characters. So we're in Perl mode here, and everything looks fine. But if we weren't using Perl, and say we were using JavaScript, here we notice that it's not matching the non-ASCII characters. And in fact, I see a Unicode option, but it's disabled. Uh, it was disabled in Perl, but Perl did Unicode automatically. It looks like JavaScript doesn't. If I look at a language like Python, I can see here it's ignoring those non-ASCII characters. But if I go into Unicode mode, it's matching them there. Another area where there's some differences as well are in the shortcuts. Now here, we give a list of some of the patterns you can use. And this list is pretty much the same for any language. One of the differences is that Perl will actually let you insert a question mark greater than followed by the pattern that you don't want to backtrack. So it means once you match this, there's no going back. And this can speed up your pattern. It's available in Perl, but say I'm in um, Python, it's not available in Python. So it's another case where this language-specific tool can help you out. So I hope you try it out and have fun. Thanks.